Hey there! Welcome to the third part of the video guide. In this exercise, we will see more variations of artist's steering. There are a lot of different wing configurations for planes which use different artist systems. Some of them even have control surfaces that respond to more than one input. Don't worry, mods are not required for any of this. Planes with the basic wing configurations are the easiest to build. The plane we just made is an example. The control surfaces only respond to one input. First, you create controllers. You set up two blocks, wooden ones for example. Then, you place the pistons around the wooden blocks. These will control the ailerons. Ailerons can be placed anywhere. But the further they are from their mechanisms, the less effective their movement. Add a hinge on both aileron swivel joints. Connect them with braces to the wooden blocks. Check if they move correctly. You can make it more compact by building a scaffolding around it first and placing the hinge at a different angle. You can bypass the intersection warning by quickly move your cursor and click tick before the block becomes red. Create one more controller near the elevators. Add hinge on both elevator swivel joints. Connect them with braces to the wooden block of the elevator's controller. Planes with the low aspect ratio wings have short, stubby ones and are more structurally efficient with faster roll. These wings tend to be used by fighter aircraft or very high speed aircraft. One example is the F-20 Tiger Shark. Their wingspan is approximately twice the length or less of their elevators. With that small of difference, it's a good idea to make the elevators also respond to roll. Bind controls to elevators keys, then brace the two pistons together. Then, place two additional pistons that will push the whole elevator controller and bind them to aileron keys. The pistons for aileron controls should be fixed, while the wooden blocks and elevator control should be free. Connect the wooden block to the elevator hinge and the elevator pistons to the aileron hinge. Check if both sides move correctly and try to press pitch and roll buttons at the same time. Planes with tailless delta configurations have a triangular platform with swept leading edges and straight trailing edges. They offer good structural efficiency and a small frontal area. Space shuttles are the example of machines that using these configurations. Since delta wings combine ailerons and elevator into a big wing, their ailerons also respond to pitch. Tailless delta controllers are similar to the low aspect ratio configurations, except aileron and elevator controls are swapped. Set up controllers with aileron keys, then brace the two pistons together. Then. Place two additional pistons that will push the whole aileron controller and bind it to elevator keys. The pistons with elevator control should be fixed, while the wooden blocks and aileron control should be able to move. Connect the wooden block to the aileron hinge and the aileron control pistons to the elevator hinge. Check if they move correctly and try to press pitch and draw buttons at the same time. 
A canard is a small forewing placed near the nose. Canards are most commonly found on planes with tailless delta wing, such as the MiG-144 Plat Pack. There are also planes with a three surface configurations, which have both a conventional tail and additional canard surfaces like the Sukhoi Su-34. Canards will greatly increase its takeoff performance. Depending on their length, canards are mostly limited to pitch, but their movements are inverted relative to the elevator movement. Canards don't require additional controllers. You can just use existing ones. When you finish building the canards, place the hinge on top of it. For the basic configurations, connect both canards to the elevator controller's wooden block. For delta wing, you connect the left canard with the right wooden block and vice versa. Compare the movement with the elevator and make sure the movement is inverted. That's it! Now, you have enough knowledge to create RTC for most of different plane configurations. Thanks to our patrons at patreon.com for making this video possible. And thanks to Fermilion Boulder Individual for editing the script. Thanks for watching and see you in the skies!